All right, so as promised, I have done the first part of that video that I had missed yesterday, and I'm going to upload that as kind of a part 1A to the video I did last night, and I will be doing more video today. Um, I also have, I think that's it. Uh, if the parts are done on the Jenny, I can always do a video of that too, but anyway, we'll see you guys later. Okay, so as I said last night, I had some errors with my video. So this is my hot end on the FT5. This is going to be a real quick video. Um, just wanted to show you kind of what I did. Um, thermistor wire was cut, the uh, heater block wire was cut, and it was put into, the heater wire was put into the terminals right here. This goes into that harness that you get, the really long braided, well not braided cable, but the long section of cable that's taped. Goes into here, and then goes down to the board. Um, this right here has the thermistor going into it, has the fan going into it. Okay, fan coming out, thermistor coming out. It's going to that same wire as well as this that's in that uh, long section of tape wire. Um, I did it a little bit different, I think. I just uh, attached this to some of the uh, wire clamps on either side just to kind of keep it out of the way and make it easier for modularity in the future if I uh, or if or when I update the uh, hot end okay the braided cable um, I used the one length I did not cut this at all um, ran it in through the cable chain guide and then over to here okay this goes into the stepper motor and the X limit switch. So if you look here, um, you can see the uh, this is the small pin side of that wire. So make sure when you're routing your wiring through the uh, harness and stuff, you make sure that your small pins are on this side. That's for this one right here. One that goes into the stepper motor. That's the six prong, even though there's four wires, and the wiring has that spacing. Okay. Um, this one is the regular size pins, so you don't have to worry about it too much. This one goes into the uh, four pin, and then goes into the three pin on the other side. Uh, let's see what else. Um, the limit switch here. You can see there's only uh, three of these cables like this, so they're not too hard to see. Those are the ones you want to use for your limit switch on this side. Alright, and then when you come down here, you can see the, uh, the tangle mess that I've got going on. But this is what I was referring to. This side has the, uh, the bigger pins on it right here. Um, the other side has the smaller pins for the 6-pin connector. This one is the 4-pin. And this one is the two pin. This one is the heater block, or no, sorry, not the heater block. This one is the uh, thermistor. This one is the stepper motor. Uh, this, the bigger ones that need to be tinned. This is for the heater or for the uh, the heater block. And then these two are for the fan. So that's that the primary wiring harness that I was talking about. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> again, this is the update that I had done to the printer. And again, you know, no synchronization belt or anything in there. And I think that was all that I missed on the video yesterday. Again, I apologize for that. Um, I did route this uh, wire down through the channel. Um, I don't know why I just felt like doing that. 
So it comes down here, up past there, and then comes down this. That way I can keep it all concealed as much as possible. So anyway, that is the missing video that is going in with the other one. So like I said, I apologize for not having it done. I will be doing another video later today on more of the wiring that I'm going to be doing. Um, again, I encourage you to follow the directions and I'm just trying to show you what I've done so far. Until then, I will talk to you later. Thank you.